Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the inside of Farsight of the War Chest. Now, this is again is by Jamie Jolly and it's published by Braincrack Games. I've already unboxed the Corsair or the, the actual game. So, guys, if you didn't check that out, that video is on the channel. Have a look at that. You see more about the actual components of the game. This is just going to be adding miniatures to the game, which makes it a little bit more immersive, makes the game feel oh, that bit more exciting as you're moving actual big mechs around that sort of thing. Now, I'll just mention again that this was sent to me free of charge, so do bear that in mind as I do the review, just in case I'm making it sound better than it is. But they didn't send me any Pringles, so they didn't really they didn't really buy me. So I'll also take this minute to mention that they are running a competition at the moment. It's a coloring competition where you color in one of their mechs and the winner's going to receive a copy of the game and the war chest. And I think it's encouraging people to get their kids or other people's kids to paint. Paint? Paint? Don't paint. Well, no, do paint it. Guys, you're watching a painting channel. Paint this coloring competition. Anyway, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and check that out and try and win yourself a copy. Let's have a look what we get in the box. I'm not open this yet. I've taken the cellophane off because uh, I wanted to take some pictures of how cool this looks on the shelves alongside the core set. I think it's an impressive looking box. It's quite big um, and I just didn't want to get a reflection of my face or mostly the room to be honest because everywhere's a mess. So let's have a look inside. Caution, for my safety, I'm going to read this one sec. One eternity later. Wow, that is just some fluff and I love it. And then it's going to explain the units on the back. So that's pretty that's pretty nice. Don't want anything more than that. I like when the fluff's like semi-humorous, like uh, Dark Souls, where it says you've died as soon as you've opened it. Very, very good. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, guys, these are cool. <laughs> that, that, that genuinely made me, whoa. I was uh, not expecting... What is it? Is it resin? It just looks... Really crisp and clear, love it. Nice looking miniatures. I'll give these a spin at the end so you guys can look closely. In fact, the unboxing video, I should have put them both together because there's so little to unbox really. My bad, my bad. But yeah, a little bit of a textured base. I love love that, making it nice and simple. Can get that sort of agrilan earth style cracked earth going on in there. Pointer, I guess, to show which way it's facing. Must be involved in the game somewhat. And then, yeah, just a really nice, looking mech, springy plastic, so it's not going to be brittle and snap too easily. The base is massively warped. Uh, it's very Batman-y, isn't it? That's a, that's a little bit annoying. We could try the hot water technique. You guys, if you've not seen that, there's a video on the channel for fixing warped plastic. I'll certainly give that a go with these. I don't know how much it will matter. It makes them a little bit wobbly, but pff, it's no here, no there. It's not the first game that's done that, and it's never bothered me playing any of the others. But that looks, that's a nice looking mech. Let's have a look. Again, the artillery. What sort of plastic is this? It's all bendy. It feels like it would snap, but it actually bends. It just looks nice. It's just uh, really cleanly cast. And then the little people as well. Yeah, they're a bit boring when you've got massive mechs com in comparison. Let's have a look at this one next to them. Oh, it's the same one. They're just all the same mechs, maybe. Let's have a look at the second set as well. As I said, I'll spin all this, guys, so you can have a closer look. But I want to have a first time look. Oh, it's all the same. Oh, that's a lie, isn't it? Whoa, that's nice looking, isn't it? So that's a, it's a little skinny, scrawny mech, but I like how it looks. Beautiful. And this looks like some sort of Optimus Prime style one. Yeah, yeah, I like them. They look good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Very spaced out, aren't they? They've not crammed this into a smaller box. I don't know why. I mean, the box is an impressive, impressive size, but I feel like, I don't know, there's work to be done here. This could be, I mean, look at the, the gaps. This is a huge amount of gaps. They could definitely have got this in a more streamlined box if they wanted, but it matches the same size as the core and it does look impressive on the shelves. And it's been sat in my living room for a while. Even my father-in-law commented on how impressive the game looks and he doesn't care about mechs, games, or how impressive my living room looks. So it was a fun comment to receive. Guys, that's it. I'm going to spin them now. So by all means, stay around to check that out. But let me know in the comments below what you might like to see a painting tutorial for, if any. I could see a lot of metallics being used here. I also want to, I'd like to add some battle damage, maybe. Maybe some corrosion as well. But I'll have a think. Let me know what you'd like to see painted below and any suggestions for how you might like to see it painted. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Go and enter that competition and I'll see you again soon.
let me just remind you that they are running a competition for this game at the moment. And let's start this video again because it takes me so long to say so little. It makes it feel uh, more immersive. Immersive is the word I'm looking for. This could be called Farsight Immersion. Immersion? That sounds like a heater. <sighs> As is everything I do, don't judge me.